Hey, what is going on, Karasuno family? My name is Mike, and welcome back to another Karasuno TV episode. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Sunday, and we're going to be doing two episodes today. Still uh, working through the catch-up, um, Friday especially. Uh, today, we're going to be finishing out the Friday shows that we missed with uh, Fire Force Season 2, Episode 22. Of course, that's the one we're watching now. And then Don Machi after this. So uh, looking forward to that. Uh, looking forward to, you know, getting to those 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 Friday shows, which are always fantastic. So like I said, starting with Fire Force. And Fire Force, we have some uh, good fights coming up. I'm really looking forward to uh, uh, Shinra Arthur versus Giovanni. That's going to be awesome. Possible return of Maki. And then also maybe we get some show. I think we saw him in the preview. Maybe a confrontation with Shinra. That's going to be awesome. I'm really excited. I'm really hyped for it. I hope you guys are as well. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel if you are not. Check the description for the socials, especially Patreon, where you get the uncut reactions to this and much more um, over there. Follow me over on Twitch, where I'll be doing my uh, non-seasonal reactions. And lastly, come join the Discord, because it really is such a fantastic place, such a fantastic community. Um, other than that, let's get into this. I'm excited. I hope you guys are. Fire Force Season 2, Episode 22. Let's fly, Gross. Ooh, Shinra already exchanging blows with Giovanni. Is this is, is this before Arthur came in or what? Damn, the insect legs just kill me. No, here he is. <laughs> oh, where'd Giovanni go? <laughs> You're so gross. He's, I can't believe he's he's really like an insect. Superheated gas. Too bad they're not second gens. They could use that to their advantage. Oh man, the animation looks so good though. <laughs> Shinra giving a little speech. Firing. Ooh, getting his firepower going. Yeah, that's right. I forgot the White Cloud's trying to blow up the underground. Just like your brother did. Oh, look at that shot of Shinra. Yes, we get some show. This is what I want. That's Haumea. Is she painting show? Oh, my lord. She has such a control over him. Is that what it is? Honestly, how many is the worst? It's so despicable. Yeah, she she did something. She like fried his brain all the way at the end of season one. He's still like this. Remember, he was starting to think on his own, right? Look at Shinra. <laughs> he's just boom, just like that. He snapped. By now, he's probably how many is play thing. So maybe she did. <laughs> oh, look at the rough style. Look at the rough animation. Wow, that pissed him off so much. <laughs> no, no. Dude, guys, do you, do you hear how they just cut off the sound effects? That's so amazing. It just goes to silence when Shinra disappears. What a great effect. It's really, oh my lord. Wow, I mean, I mean, again, I, I have to go back to that. That is just such an amazing style that they use. They, they just completely cut off sound. What? Gio Giovanni's going crazy. Oh, he's freaking out because... Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. Gio Giovanni wants to become a closer to a Adola. So he's freaking out right now. He's going crazy because all these experiments that he's done have, I guess, made him somewhat closer to Adola. Who was the other one? Lieutenant Konra? How did he hear Konra? <laughs> Shut up. It's good that Shinra's not saying anything because sometimes the Shonen protagonists love to like spill what's on their mind. I'm glad he's holding it back. Don't don't give them the upper hand. Damn, I'm still I'm still like thinking about 
the way that they cut off the sound when Shinra sort of went like to his like teleport mode, kinda. I'm tired of the of, of the white clad and their 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 end of the world like language. It's so annoying. I, I want them to get the beat beat the hell up already, guys. All right, they're trying to blow up the nether. I I almost forgot about that about that plan. I'm assuming that the rest of the soldiers down there are going to be doing that, trying to, you know, figure that out. Mm, something to propel the explosion through the middle? Interesting. Yeah. Oh, it just propels it straight up. That's what, Okay, that's what I thought I was going to... That's what I thought. It, ma it makes sense. So they're just trying to blow a straight hole in the ground. That uh, makes sense. Minimal. F oh, they want to do the whole Tokyo Empire. There's no way that they're going to allow that to happen. I hope not. Ooh. Detective Ose on the scene. I, I remember seeing the preview image and I thought he was... I, I took a quick look and I thought he was Benny Morrow because he had the coat on. It's kind of similar haircut. Second gens. Second gens are really powerful. Oh, Maki. That's when Maki comes in. Maki's the second gen. Maki! <laughs> Secretary Jose <laughs> looks too funny. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he know uh, he's not gonna side with him because he knows he, he knows that they need Maki. <laughs> Ooh, the, the the coin flip of the eighth logo. Regulations be damned. <laughs> Maki's there. Sorry, I'm late. <laughs> She's even got the secretary uniform on too. Oh, cool. So, I was wondering if she was just holding on to the pin because she was cher she cherished the eighth, but it was really a communication device. Leave it to Vulcan. <laughs> Oh, he's playing the you're a girl card. No, Maki's our resident gorilla. <laughs> so somebody needs to suppress the flames, I guess. Oh, maybe, maybe the captain of the second? What do we think? <laughs> oh, Lick's, Lick's delivery on everything is so funny. We're gonna be roasted to death. He's like, we're gonna be roasted to death, and then like you see like the sweat drip down his face. So who could? <laughs> Only Tamaki will survive. Yeah, somebody who can who can control it. Oh, they'll find a way to survive this. Hell yeah. What's Lick thinking? Oh, okay. Detective Oze helping out here. Oh, this is why I love Lick. You know, even though he doesn't have powers, he's just a scientist. He He's so important and he's, he contributes so much. Oh, the brother and sister being in sync. That's what I like to see. <laughs> I can't wait for Detective Ose to see just how important Maki is. Here, okay, here they go. Here comes the explosion. I can't imagine the whole Tokyo, Tokyo Empire is going to explode. Come on, Maki. Here it comes. <laughs> it's a Maki screaming. Oh, so it's going all the way down to the lower floors. Here we go, Maki. Look at this. <laughs> oh, look at her, like, grabbing the flame. 
are under my control. It looks like like sputter and flare. Damn, how awesome. They're all under my control, Maki. <laughs> Too cool. Oh, Ritsu's like, wait, what's going on? Oh, she just spreads the arms. Flames can go through places where people can no longer pass. Yeah, like cracks in the rocks, everything. Wow. I mean, it's pretty impressive the knowledge that Detective Oze has of the nether. So he's, he's relying on the flames to just dissipate, right? So to, uh, so so he's relying on the ground to cool down the flames. <laughs> the madman licked, like staring down at the ground. <laughs> oh wow, it did it. Okay, I mean that was a fairly smooth. <laughs> Iris hiding under the desk. I, I I was blanking on her name. <laughs> Did you see her hiding under the desk? That was too funny. What a shot. <laughs> Let's have the sigh of relief. Ooh, Oze realizes just how important she was there. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah, Maki. Giovanni's like, uh-oh. <laughs> Shinra with like the little shit-eating grin. He's like, ha ha ha. <laughs> oh! Self? How did. <laughs> Nirvana! <laughs> I am delivered you <laughs> Yeah, he can't read his mind because Arthur has no thoughts. <laughs> Without drawing the breath of my. <laughs> <laughs> He's basically saying he like cut off all brain functionality, not even breathing. <laughs> Just as Shinra thought they were on the same team. And of course Giovanni's not down. Is his body all bugs? Oh my goodness. Come on, Shinra, use the flame. He's got flames. Oh, he's just like a little head now. There we go, finally, he used the flames, just burn him. <laughs> Arthur just dangling the body, he's too funny. Giovanni gets away again. <laughs> They're just now aware of how dangerous the white clad are. You'd figure that, yeah, I mean, the eighth knew. Ooh, what's the brother gonna say? Yeah, he does, that's what I'm talking about. What's she gonna do? What's what's what's? Oh, Hinawa. He did, he's is he not giving an inch? I guess. <laughs> Hinawa. Ooh, some praise. That's rare out of Hinawa, and she knows that. Maki knows that. <laughs> the brother too. <laughs> Back to the surface. Nether arc concluded. Maybe? Because we, we still have Shinra. Oh no, Shinra and Arthur emerged too. Dang, we don't get to see Sho. I mean, we saw him, but wow. So maybe Konro has an Adola burst? Right arm and left leg? Juggernaut. Whoa, what a sacrifice. That's right. The military and the fire force cannot afford it. Tokyo has to unite. Let's go. <laughs> oh, man. He's got the faith in the young generation, too. <laughs> mm, good father, though. At least, you know, he's worried about a birdie wants to let her do. What she wants to do, that's great. Incredibly powerful strength. She does. She is, she's one of the strongest on the team in terms of like mental fortitude, I'd say. 
<laughs> a little cute Maki. <laughs> She's back, all right. Platoon leader, Maki Oze. Oh, she made platoon leader. I guess she got promoted? <laughs> no squads either. That's what his face says. Hibana. Haven't seen her in action too often, huh? Look at them all. Obi's proud. They're the real deal. He's proud of them. Hell yeah. Look at them all. Oh, that's my squad. That's my company. I love them. Mm, Tamaki? Who's Tamaki talking to? Ooh, Konro. Are they visiting Konro? Maybe to ask about the Adola burst? Ladies and gentlemen of the Karasuno family, that was it. That was episode 22 of Fire Force Season 2. And another phenomenal episode. Wow. I was just blown away. And I was thinking during the episode, I was like, you know, if David Productions gave this the standard treatment, right? I mean, many people were shocked when they, you know, right away came out of the gate saying 48 episode adaption, you know, and then obviously I, I think that it wasn't a split core right off the bat, but then they said they were doing like, you know, a split course of 24 and 24. Um, they came off right off the bat and said, we're, we're, we're doubling down. We're giving this one the full treatment, 48 episodes. I believe it's 48 or, may or maybe it's 52. But they, they were giving it like a whole four cores, uh, a, a treatment right off the bat. They said, we're doing this. We're getting this. People were sort of a little bit critical. They were like, you know, that's kind of crazy. They're giving this, you know, Fire Force, which, you know, wasn't really talked about that much. I guess the manga wasn't, you know, it wasn't anything that was up there, you know, in, with like the, you know, the, the greats of Shonen Jump right now, you know, Chainsaw Man, Jujutsu Kaisen. Uh, I mean, you know, even just, you know, Demon Slayer with the numbers that it's doing, the One Pieces, all of those, Attack on Titan, just all of the behemoths, right, um, that are currently running. You don't hear Fire Force named alongside them. So it's something they could easily get tossed to the side. So when they came out the gate saying that it's going to get this long run already off the bat, everyone was pretty shocked. Um, uh, and I'm just so glad that they did that because after the first 12 episodes, you know, a lot of people gave it a shot but they were like man this isn't for me it's just so okay it's standard blah 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 it wasn't really until the second half of the first season where it really started getting great and 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 they, they put the that that nail on the head once once um the nether arc aired at the end of the first season that to me was when i was like i love the show like i'm not going to stop watching it i want more of it i want to i want to see it through to the end and then season two came, and season two has been a wild ride as well. Second half being just fantastic, like almost like a 10 out of 10 second half of season two so far. Uh, and I'm really glad because it's been so good, so quality. You know, it's just gotten so much better ever since episode one. You know, they started out with the amazing opening by Mrs. Greenapple, Miss Greenapple, I forget. Uh, and then ever since then, um, it's just been getting better and better and better and better. And I've just been so blown away, so thankful for David Productions to dedicate themselves double down just like they did with Fire Force. Uh, and that's just so fantastic. I'm, I'm really happy. You know, people were saying that, like, you know, Blu ray sales weren't good and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, I guess we'll see at the end of the season if they're going to, you know, see this through. I, I think I hear the manga is just about done. I think they're at, like, you know, at just about the end there. But, uh, it's just been an amazing experience and I really love, like I said, how the studio just dedicated down, they doubled down, they said, we're going to do this. And I think that it ended up helping Fire Force in the long run because after 12 episodes, that, that, that might, have been, might have been a dead and buried show, you know, just from the reception that it got. Um, so guys, thank you for sticking with me. I'm, I know I, I stuck with the show. I'm glad you guys are sticking with the reactions as well. Uh, episode 22 in the bag. Make sure you subscribe if you're not. Check the description for the socials. Of course, Patreon, where you can find the full uncut reaction and much more. Um, also, follow me on Twitch, where I'm going to do my non-seasonals, including, you know, One Piece. Um, and lastly, come join the Discord. Really, really fantastic place. So many great discussions that we have every single day. Seriously, what a positive place. Love you all in the Discord. Everybody else, come join as well. Uh, guys, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for watching, as always. And I really cannot wait to see you in the next one.